So, Mishnah Beis. Ve'elu chayv l'hachrez. These you do have to announce. We now said in the first Mishnah a whole bunch of different things that if you find them, even though you have a mitzvah, hashev tishivim, you have to return a lost object. You don't have to return these things because they are things that we assume the person gave up on. There's no way he expects to get them back. He was misyayish. He uh, is no way uh, he expects them, and therefore you can keep them for yourself, and there's no way to announce them. However, our Mishnah now says these are things that you do have to make announcement about. You do have to tell people, hey, this thing was lost, and uh, here's your chance to reclaim it. Matzah peros bakli. You found fruits that are in a utensil, and the utensil is one that has a simon. The one is one that can be uh, uh, recognizable, uh, specific, that makes a difference. Not just, you know, stom, you found a Dixie plastic cup or something. You know, you're talking about you found utensil, which has distinguishing marks. Oh, kli kamo shahu, or you just found the utensil as it is, right, without the, the fruits in it. You might think like, oh, okay, the fruts are half, because what, you know, the three pairs look like they have three, any other pairs. Well, but if they're in the utensil, so then that's part of the simon, and, but, and, that's, and it's all goes together. Similarly, ma'os bakis, if you have money in a wallet, o kis kamo shahu, or a wallet by itself, Again, the wallet, the purse, is something that is, is, has, is distinguishable by itself, that it is what it is, and it could be somebody's that he can say, oh, you know, there's this there and that there. It's, obviously, it doesn't have his driver's license in it, but it, it's got distinguishing marks that would make it uh, that you know you, the person can be able to identify it. Tzibure peros, or tzibure maos, if you have heaps of fruit or heaps of money, if you have at least three coins, one on top of another, so then that's already considered to be something that the person could say, oh yeah, I had a stack of coins and it was in this place and it was this many and you know, etc. Or if you have small bundles of sheaves that are in a private area. We mentioned in the first Mishnah that they're, if they're in the public thoroughfare, so then the, that's, not a, that's not necessarily a simon, it's not something that you could do things fall all over the place, but if it's in a private area, say, oh, it's in that yard or whatever, it's okay, so then, then that you can claim as a lost object. Hikara shalbao bias, um, or if you have the uh, loaves, homemade loaves, we said the kikaros of the, the nachtom, the kikaros of the, the baker, so that, they all look the same, right? The, the, the loaf that you get at uh, Trader Joe's looks like every single other loaf that you get at Trader Joe's. But if you've got some of these private, uh, uh, you know, private loaves, they make it home. It comes out, you know, and it's whatever funny, unique shape it is, and that that's everybody can. You know, oh, that's so and so's chal. I recognize that's you know, that's uh, that ball buster's chal. Vegizet semer halakuchos mibeis ha'uman, or if you've got the um, wool shearings that come from a very specific. You know, it comes from a specific store, a specific guy. Like we said, if it just comes from Medina, it comes from, you know, it comes off the, out of the field, so everybody's, you know, looks the same. But there he's got, you know, it's got the little alligator on it or whatever, you know. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's recognizable, right? Well, what it is, that this, this wool came from this place, you know, so therefore it's, it's more, it has more specifics. Kade yayin v'kade shaman har elu chayv Similarly, if you have jars or pitchers of wine and oil, so those as well have to be announced. Those generally also have identifiable markings on them. Okay.